Hello and welcome to the tutorial for getting your OpenAI API key. In order to use our AI function, you're going to need an OpenAI API key. To do this, you're going to need to go on the OpenAI website and create an account and also provide payment info for when they process your request. This usually doesn't cost very much at all, but I would always recommend checking the prices tab on their website to get more information. So when you open up VTS Pog after updating, you're going to want to go to Connections, and here you'll see AI mode, you'll want to enable that. You'll also see a blank area where you're gonna to wanna to put your OpenAI API key. To do this, we're gonna to go to the openai.com website. You're going to either log in or sign up, depending on if you've made an account or not. I already have an account, so I'm going to click on API. There's a lot of useful information here for how this works, but in our case, we're going to go to personal, then click on view API keys. You're going to want to create a new secret key and then you can name it whatever you want. Just a note here, you're never gonna be able to see this key again, so make sure you copy it, and you can store it somewhere, or you can always come back and generate a new key. If OpenAI thinks that you shared your key with somebody, they will automatically generate you a new one. Now, we're gonna go back to the VTS Pug application, and we're going to paste in our key. That's how you get your API key. Again, make sure you check out the pricing information, even though it's not that expensive, it is still required. To actually set up the AI, watch our other tutorial.